So friends, did you see Kevin McCarthy's latest attempt at political bullying? Let's talk about that because justice matters. Hey all, Glenn Kirshner here. So can we do a quick video about Kevin McCarthy? Because he's up to his old tricks again, pulling what I would call some legislative thuggery. This time, he's threatening Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. Here is the recent reporting. This from US News and World Report. Headline, McCarthy calls for DHS Secretary Mayorkas to resign or face impeachment. House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy warned that if DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas does not resign, the GOP-controlled Congress will begin an investigation on the road to impeachment. You know, friends, when I saw this story reported, I was instantly reminded of another abuse of office by Kevin McCarthy. It took place about a year ago. There was some reporting about how the telecom companies and social media platforms were cooperating with the J6 House Select Committee investigation of the attack on our Capitol, the insurrection, the attempt of Donald Trump and company to try to upend our democracy. And when Kevin McCarthy got wind that telecom companies and social media platforms were cooperating with that congressional probe, what did he do? Well, he threatened them. Here's the headline at the time, this from the Washington Post. Representative McCarthy threatens tech and telecom firms that comply with January 6th committee's request. His threat? If you cooperate with the J6 committee, the Republicans will not forget it. You know, this is nothing more than political bullying, legislative thuggery, an abuse of power and an abuse of office, but that's all Kevin's got. He's got no policies. He's got no principles. You know, friends, I, for one, am looking forward to what the newly appointed special counsel, Jack Smith, might find about Kevin McCarthy's possible complicity in the insurrection, either before, during, or after January 6th. Because if he had anything to do with it, I'm quite sure Special Counsel Jack Smith will unearth that evidence. And if he had anything to do with it, Kevin McCarthy ought to be held accountable. Because justice matters. Friends, as always, please stay safe, please stay tuned, and I look forward to talking with you all again tomorrow.